but you cannot afford to be not to be part of the first satellite launch in Kenya. This is a data satellite. It will be launched on 11th and it will be at uh, I think the Chandaria Emanuel Chandaria, uh, Chandaria Auditorium at the University of Nairobi. So if you're interested there's a way you need to get there to witness that launch but before then here's a sneak preview. Uh, we are very pleased here at the University of Nairobi to announce that the first Kenyan satellite built by the University of Nairobi and our partners will be deployed into space this coming Friday, the 11th of May, 2018. I would like to call upon the principal um, scientist on this matter, uh, Professor Mbudia, to give some more details. Professor. Thank you very much, and once more, welcome to the University of Nairobi. Yes. And I, we are very pleased to announce this historic occasion when we will be deploying the first Kenyan University satellite. The satellite, as the VC has mentioned, will be deployed from the International Space Station on Friday, the 11th of May at 1 o'clock. And we invite the members of the press, the Kenyans, and the students to come and witness this uh, historic occasion, which is a milestone in terms of the development of science and in terms of the uh, building capacity to excite Kenyans to get involved in study, in, in the study of science subjects. So we'd like to welcome you on Friday to be with us as we witness this historic occasion. What? The satellite to be deployed is a 10 by 10 by 10 CubeSat. Uh, that is uh, about uh, uh, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters. And this it weighs about 1.4 kilograms. But the important thing is that this is a journey we have started to develop higher capacity and to develop the technology to enable Kenya to participate in space exploration and in space science. And we believe that the University of Nairobi can provide the required leadership to enable Kenyans to become operators in space. This is an area where we have not engaged, but we believe that is a very important area in terms of the development of science and, of course, in the development of a capacity to utilize uh, space resources. So thank you. What are the benefits uh, to Kenyans? Uh, for Kenyans, as I said, this is a very important step to take in terms of building the capacity to engage in space science. As uh, the VC mentioned earlier, space science has contributed a lot to the development of, for example, microelectronics, and the more advanced countries have used this development to actually inspire and motivate the development of their industries. So we believe that Kenya can also benefit in a similar way if we engage in space science. Indeed, at a time like this, when one of our big four is manufacturing, this kind of science will put Kenya into the cutting edge and indeed the university's capacity and performance in matters, space science and engineering in general. I would like now to invite our colleague uh, from the embassy uh, to also make some uh, comments and respond to some of your issues. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, following the successful launch and the uh, uh, installation of International Space Station and Japan uh, through the JAXA, Japan Exploration Agency, now preparing for deployment uh, Kenyan first satellite to, to uh, the uh, universe. Uh, this coming uh, uh, Friday, uh, JAXA, uh, our Japanese astronaut will prepare uh, launching uh, the first uh, Kenyan satellite. So this is a very historic, historical moment so we like to uh, share this uh, moment uh, with the Kenyan people, also the Japanese people in, in, in Tokyo and all uh, related uh, people in, in Japan. So thank you. Maybe Just further to this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there will be an event in Japan and there will be an event in the universe and there will be an event here at the University of Nairobi. What will be happening in Japan, which is a deployment, will be witnessed by some Kenyans who will attend this historic event in Japan. But here in Kenya, we are going to have an event here in the auditorium where what is happening in Japan will be beamed into Kenya. 
there will be an opportunity for a Kenyan to speak to the astronaut in the universe and also from Japan. We are looking forward very anxiously and passionately to this great moment when the University of Nairobi and Kenya will truly be in the universe and then we can build from there. Thank you. Maybe just uh, tell us what capabilities will it have in tackling some of the challenges as Kenyans are facing? Uh, it will have capability, for example, to do earth mapping to be used for educational purposes, to map wildlife, environment, and uh, many other um, commercial activities uh, that we'll be able to release and clarify as we move along. Uh, we hope that uh, we shall be able to continue to strengthen our earth station here at the university, as has been explained earlier, and we can also build more of these cubes so that we have a constellation that will be continue to increase the power of, the, of our capacity to enjoy the benefits, more benefits of satellite technology. Are we expecting maybe some benefits from that on matter of security? Yes, as we move along, uh, that will come to be. And as I said earlier, we are going to be working with partners to create those opportunities as will be required. So we can create, we can upgrade this into whatever it is that we want. And that's why we were saying at the university we are going to have a program. We are going to do one per year and in five years we expect to have achieved a respectable status for this country. All right. Uh, they say Kenya is uh, one of the few African countries to launch their satellite. In fact, information from that group, the uh, University of Nairobi and Japan, say they are only Kenya becomes the third African nation to launch satellite. But uh, Egypt, South Africa, Morocco, Algeria, uh, Mauritania, they have all launched. In fact, some even have satellite spaces now. Kenya becomes the third country, according to this information, to launch their satellite. Uh, I think Ghana launched theirs last year in July. They also have a satellite, not just a cube or satellite space. Now, the journey for Kenya began back in 1962. That's the reason why it's important to be part of that journey to join it.